session, I would like to Can you all see this now? Can you all see this slide now? I am Bangalore. Can you all see the I am Bangalore slide? Okay. Okay, done. Excellent. Great. Good evening, everyone. Srinivasan here. Call me Srini. And it is indeed a pleasure. Congratulations to each one of you for clearing the first major hurdle. And I look forward to each one of you stepping into I am Bangalore. How are you feeling? Having received the call, kindly share your feelings. Share in one single word. Yeah, yeah. Excited, super, overwhelmed. More, yeah, elated. Quickly. Tense to Man Manasa. What more? What more? I am very excited. I am excited for you, each one of you. <coughs> and also I had an exciting day today. I was just rushing from one of the amazing stuff the whole day. Uh, morning with children and the evening, in the afternoon and evening I have been with the best of the artists the country has to offer. I was through the India Art Fair and just rushed here to be on time. I am excited. I am very excited because you are ready to paint your canvas. <coughs> and today's session is all, all about painting your canvas. And what is the canvas that you want to show to the world? And especially the I am Bangalore team. Yeah, we'll talk about these things. Abiru, you have a lot of extracurricular activities. We have got to dwell deep into ourselves. Yeah? Most often than not, most of us, I'll talk about it. Kindly, if you are listening to me, kindly, quickly, <coughs> send me a single sentence. What What is it that that you have in mind? Abiru says it. I don't have any extracurricular activities. What do I do? <laughs> so kindly ask those questions that you have in mind that you would like to get addressed this evening so that as I go along in the session, I'll definitely go and talk. So we say I don't have any co-curricular activities. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Abhishek says very, very average, generic profile. OK? What more? Best option is hobby. Aditya asks, what should I say as a hobby? Okay. Quickly more. Anki, Ashutosh, Vikas, Gaurav, Harsh, Harshita. <coughs> so many of you sitting here, not talking, not writing. I want to all of you to participate proactively. Yeah, more, more questions. How to make shop interesting, not really sure, Manasa asked. Okay, what more? No, I am, that's why I'm talking about it. All questions that are coming up, I'm talking about it. I have hobbies, but I don't have in-depth knowledge about it. What should I do? Somebody says, why MBA? 
that's the question which is i am worried about do we take our cvs to pi apart from it yes you do and why do mba as a fresher to agata say okay what more quickly ask questions because as, as i go along i will i will share gaurav has swap writing highlight manasa says worried about academic how good our preparation should be how good it should be do we decide the trade or they will decide for us i don't have okay and do, do you see it's a problem that's one question how do you ideally structure a swap Subhashree and Harshita both have same questions. I left my job five months prior to CAT. Will that pose a problem? That's Sandeep asking a question. Can you all hear me? Can you all hear? Yes. Okay. So all the questions. Yes. Okay. Doesn't matter. Also, do we have to already decide a specialization? have to have a great interview to convert yes who all should be my references doesn't matter whatever areas that you have worked or you have interacted with people or areas of your interest that everybody can give you ankur i am audible to everyone people are responding kindly check your desktop and audio system okay so i am excited i am sure you all will be as excited it is a question of making presenting ourselves well in in means of our soft as well as presenting ourselves well when we get into the room yeah okay hush so it is very important that we present ourselves very well yeah how do we present ourselves well we'll talk about it so we'll invest today time in guidelines to form filling we'll discuss on form filling and also about the process that is the second stage process okay i am audible to everyone now is the speed okay okay thank you so the questions that i have got range Why is going back? Uh, okay. Range from quite a few things. From I don't have work experience. How to do my SOP? How to present myself? I don't have hobbies. I don't have co-curricular activities. How do I present myself? Let me share initially with you. Yeah. Most of us. Most of us. would not have sat and introspected what is that i really want from my staff this question we would have never introspected we were we are all taken in by the outside world most of us want to do mba because people said or people around us said or we get got to hear an mba from imb or iim is a passport to a great future especially in terms of monetary benefits isn't it so that's why most of us have so we want gaadi bangla travel see around the world so these are the things that have for us inspired us instigated us compelled us to get into cat and right cat 
Okay. Now is the time for us to sit and introspect, really ask ourselves, what is that I want from myself? That's the question. What is the what is the purpose of my life? That's the question. Okay. So how do you answer that question? If you answer those questions, the rest of all things will fall in place. Are you all with me? Are you able to hear me? Quickly say yes. Okay. Yeah, those, thank you, thank you. Those who are not able to hear, check, check your system. Okay. Okay, all are able to hear. Those who are not able to hear, check the system. Okay. So the questions, let me, before I start, yeah. Let, let me go one step further, perhaps then. So we are all supposed to write a song. Yeah. So it is 600 words. So nowadays, I am, Bangalore has become one single for the last few years. Yeah, no, not many questions. Earlier they had so many questions. Yeah. See, a lot of us, I, I, I'm still getting quite a few questions where I don't have a high percentile, I don't have this, I don't have. Why are you all worried about what we do not have? The question to ask is what do I really have? <coughs> the answers to what he's going to ask would come from what I have. I would never able to find answers from those which I do not have. Yeah? Can I change my past? I cannot change my past. Can I? I cannot. So I need to change my future. How do I do that? I can do that only when I clearly sit and think about it. So it is an introspection time. I will give you enough indicators for you to sit and think, okay? Before you write this SOP. <coughs> the SOP can have quite a few things as shared here. My background, significant events in my life, accomplishments, experience at workplace if I have work experience, extracurricular activities, relationship with friends and family, what do people think of you, what do you, what your family members think of you, what do your friends think of you, what, are, what do your colleagues think of you, what do your boss think of you, what, is, what does your professor think of you, okay? What is your career plan? How do you see your future? Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> now let me tell you, all these things are very, very significant. Or are you all quickly writing these six things down? Okay. Write a separate heading of each by background, significant events, accomplishment, experience at workplace, extracurricular activities, relationship with friends, kindly. Take a sheet of paper and pen if you have. Kindly write them, okay? And perhaps in the discussion, you will have pointers on each one of these. Are you all with me? Say yes, if you are with me. Okay. So you have you all written these different heads there. How many of you are all clear on why MBA? That's the question I want to ask. How many of you are clear on, on this question? 
Y in the A. Okay, Mrinal is clear. How many of you are not clear? Why MBA? Okay. Still, there are very few who are answering. Rest of all are sitting idle. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I, I I just want to uh, ask a question. If you thought, what does what do you think that MBA is going to do to you? What is it you're going to gain out of MBA? Kindly respond. Quickly, right? What is that you do you think MBA is going to do to you? Okay, we, we give me requisite knowledge for my future career, okay. What more quickly? Minal says, requisite career, secret knowledge, impart skills, unleash my potential, expose new avenues, knowledge of various layers of organization, okay. What more? Enhance my skills, give me tools, business acumen, maturity. Give us a skill set that will allow us to explore new horizons. Will boost my career with knowledge and monetary benefits. <laughs> yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, it's going to do all these things. But more importantly, let me tell you the moment you get into institution, you are going to be thrown into an ocean of turbulence. Okay? And real turbulence. And who are the ones, guys, who are going to cause the turbulence? The turbulence will be caused by each one of you. The entire class will cause a turbulence, the entire batch will cause a turbulence. Okay? <clears throat> it's going to a marketplace inside the classroom. When you go to a market to buy something, you do a lot of things and you pick and choose. Okay? And you want the best. So the system is going to throw out of, anyway, the people who are going to come into the business school or into a class are going to be some of the best in the country. Yeah, few will go to B, few will go to A, and wherever they go, who is going to come? Yes, it's 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 a it's a it's a very irony, you know. Ninety nine percent of people don't know what they want to do in life, but still they are the best the country can offer. So it's, that is that is humorous, but it is so. But if you are aware of what you really want to do and what you really want to get out of your own self, that's very important, then you will have a lot to take away from a business school. Lot to take away, first and foremost, from your peer learners. First and foremost, then would come the environment, the resources available. And one of the resources happened to be the professor. Okay? The greatest of the resources are your peers, your friends. And they are going to make the place hell as, as well as heaven, the way you see yourself, where you are, and what you do. And am I making sense? If I'm making sense, say yes. All you all able to hear me, and if I'm making sense, say yes. Yes. It's an exciting two years. Okay? These exciting two years are going to be the means and I have got to be clear about where am I heading. If I am not clear about where am I heading, then I will not be able to get the maximum out of the place, neither using the resources, 
And when they say the sorcerers, people and the material and the knowledge. Okay, the people here we talk about co learners, co facilitators. Yeah. Okay. So kindly open up, kindly look at the bigger picture. I look at a bigger picture. So understand what is that you're going to get out of business school because these things would form a solid grounding for you in the thought of everything. Why MBA? Why business school? Okay? Yes, of course. In fact, professors are not going to teach you and they're not going to dictate you the sessions or whatever. They are going to make you work. They are going to give you one brief, one line brief or a case study. And for solving that case and the discussing the case among yourself, you may have to read two chapters of the book. Yeah. Some reference books, maybe for every case you will read some 700, 800 books, 700, 800 pages before you start discussing. So it is not going to be spoon fed. It is completely it's organic that is going to come from this state. Okay. So if, if you're talking about intelligences, there are multiple intelligences that exist in human being, and there are two intelligences is intrapersonal intelligence, that is ability to organize, ability to think, ability to envision, ability to execute, ability to act. Okay. That is the intrapersonal intelligence. The other one is interpersonal intelligence. Ability to be in the team, ability to work with others, ability to create, work for yourself, work for others, ability to excel, ability to make others excel. Ability to make others do, able to make, ability to lead others. Yes, don't worry. People are recording and they will make the video out of it and they display, okay? Are you all with me? Are you all able to grasp the canvas that I'm talking about? Is this helping you to understand the canvas that you're going to paint, that you're expected to paint, the journey you're going to undertake? Am I, am I able to convey it? Okay? So do not unduly worry about what you do not have. Look at the exciting journey that's ahead. Ask yourself. What am I equipping myself with? What, what is it that I have and what can be invaluable there? Okay. Okay. Now with this small talk that I had, any questions, any more questions that, you're, that are coming up to in your mind, kindly, quickly, quickly respond. You are a sculptor, you are a painter. If I want to say figuratively, okay? <clears throat> the question I ask is, so far whatever I shared, does this provoke certain things? Does it ignite your thoughts? Does it ignite, that is, initiate some ideas in you? Are there any, are there any things that, that you are able to now start thinking?
Yes, Sanya, I will talk about it. I will talk about references. I will talk about it. Right now, I am asking. <clears throat> now, I have broadened the boundaries, broadened the perspective. Have I broadened the perspective? With this, <clears throat> with this broadening of perspective, are there any thoughts that are emerging? Would you like to share? That's the question I'm asking right now. <clears throat> so let me now share with you a few thoughts so that you could sit and introspect. It is very important for each one of us to understand self. If we don't understand self, if I cannot convince myself, can I ever convince anybody else? That's the question. Yeah. So I cannot tell, it, tell myself to anybody else. So first and foremost is that the conviction has to come from within. How do you get the conviction? How do you, how do I know or at least start thinking the direction to think? Okay. The first of the things to ask is what do I, so it is I'm talking about envisioning, I'm talking about envisioning my life and career. That's the question, okay? It is difficult and also it is easy. Provided we sit and think. Why it is difficult? Because journey of life is pretty long. As we go along, we keep discovering. If you are eager learner, we are introspective, we discover, keep discovering so many more about ourselves. <clears throat> we'll talk about it, Manasa. What others think of me? Yeah. We'll talk about these things in a while. Right now, I am <clears throat> I am trying to help each one of you to think about the goal or at least envision, if not long, at least envision next five years, ten years. Okay. And where does it emerge from? It should emerge from few questions that you should answer first. Right now I will talk about it. I have noted your question. So answers to my predicament means predicament of each one of you. How do I convince? Why MBA? So first I want to convince myself why MBA. Yeah. So in that direction, the first thing is this. What do I really love doing? When I talk about what do I really love doing, each one of us, for each one of us, there are things when I do, I don't even care. I don't even know. Time passes, who passes by, it's raining, thunder, summer, winter, doesn't matter. Yeah, your your leg is cut, your, you have a cut on your leg or your stomach is aching, doesn't matter. Because you love doing it, nothing else matters. So that's the question first, what is really, what, do we, what is that I really love doing? Why? Because if you're aware, MBAs from IIM are doing quite a few things. They are authors, they are television commentators, they are artists, they are CEOs, they are N number of people. Each one of them is using his knowledge of MBA, his training of MBA, he is working in the corporate world to further his passion and his cause. 
and that is the most compelling thing and to, you don't have to convince anybody because it comes from within it comes from your heart you love it you speak you live you cry you eat okay so that's the first question you would like to answer i am making sense okay so sit and write ask yourself these are three four things okay let me share with you uh the the questions for example when when i gave cat 20 more than 20 years ago my wo background is in tech computer science and i worked for four years with tcs work experience does not mean yeah four years it does not necessarily give you the wisdom only when you start thinking about it then you will do a lot of work okay if you do not think about it then you will not for example if you want to go and watch a movie first day first show and getting a ticket for that movie is very difficult then you will find 100 ways of how to get that ticket how to book one seat किसको पकड़ना है वे टू हूम टू कैच वे टू कैच वेन टू कैच हाउ टू कैच यूल फिगर आउट अंटर यू आर नॉट श्योर दैट यू गॉट मूवी दैन यू नॉट डू इट अंटर सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके देन ओनली यूल एवर्ड अंडरस्टैंड वाई एम बी एके फर्स्ट आंस दिस क्वेश्चन सो एन एट द टाइम देन बिकॉज आई वॉज वर्किंग इन माई बैकग्राउंड इन टेक्नोलॉजी and i'm going to into management i am talking about pre internet era yeah pre email era i am talking about but i was aware of because of reading purposeful reading the connect that i saw i saw that 20 years 25 years ahead of me because i used to read yeah so i i i knew about information super highway movie on demand imagine many of them are still still not at set prevalent they are prevalent movie on demand is prevalent but it is it still people watch television then in future you're not going to do it walking and talking you will watch movies and sitting wherever lot of things are going to happen for these have come not it is not as prevalent but these are the things i spoke about 22 years ago why because i was able to see i was i had set these are purpose classrooms people are going to attend from home what is happening today now this i spoke about in the interviews okay because technology is a passion i am making sense i am making sense once you have once you have have the passion or love what you love doing then you have the second question where or which industry does this passion get deployed or we can use
Okay, where do you deploy it? Where can you use it? Once you know, I love this. It could be anything. Any, anybody wants to share what you really love? Given a chance, that's what you want to do. Kindly share. One or two, let me pick up and ask you or share with you. Technology and design, consulting. Oh, come on. I love teaching, okay? Writing books. So we I'm not I'm not asking you to say kahan, kahan ta sector mein kaam karna hai. I'm asking what is it that you really enjoy doing now? Yeah, cooking. Everybody can be a consultant. Leave consultant. Ask yourself what the core, what is it you really enjoy doing? Okay. Dance. You yeah, understand, so we can understand consulting. <clears throat> but what I'm saying is <clears throat> everybody can be a consultant and everybody is a consultant. Are there any more things? Okay. So pick up these things. Pick up things that you really enjoy, really love doing. Let's not let's not get into a global thing like India. Get, I have to see India. Yeah, then then it will go down to much smaller thing. How do you enable India realize its potential? There could be n number of directions, n number of paths, and India people in India have to perform to their potential for nation to perform to potential. Okay. Shushma, please, if you come join. So from there, pick up. Ask yourself, what is this passion of mine? Where does this can get deployed? We will talk about it. I am going to come to soft. I am going to relate these things. Okay. Each and every element there would be of immense value. What are the elements we, we have? If you can see on the slide, all those elements need to be covered in soft. They will be covered in the interview. Once you write soft, they are going to pick up things and ask ask in the interview too. That's the precisely reason I am dwelling upon this. First question, what do you really love doing? Number two, where this love of mine or passion of mine can be deployed? How it can be deployed? Gainfully deployed, productively deployed? Are there industries in which we will deploy? Okay. So ask, are there industries where it could be deployed? Industries or arenas where it could be deployed? Your, your uniqueness can be deployed. I am talking about your uniqueness. Your compelling uniqueness. I am making sense? Am I making sense? Very nice, very good. Once you identify the industry or the area or the arena, kindly ask yourself, yes, yes, traveling, anything, you pick up anything. Aaj ke tarik mein, I know, yeah, 
people have a channel on YouTube which made very lakhs of rupees on just cookery. A housewife does it. Husband was in another business, he quit and joined wife to make that channel a successful channel. So that, that's, that's very important to understand what do I allow, where do I deploy. Then the question is, which companies or which, if you have chosen, if you are narrowed down industry, then ask yourself, which are these companies that are the stars of this company, stars of that industry, okay? I'm making sense, I, I, I'm, a, I'm making sense. Both are industries, you can, we'll talk about it. Every industry needs number crunchers anyway, okay? So, so far, no, no, I, you don't have to, you don't have to mention, I'm, I'm just, Trying to give you, I'll, we'll talk about the SOAP explicitly, we'll talk about it. Right now I'm helping you to think so that in a day or two, you will get a lot of things, a lot of ideas so that you can concretize. So when you enter, when you, when you write in the SOAP or when you enter the interview, you have enough data, enough things to substantiate your thought process. Am I making sense? If I'm making sense, say yes. Okay. Take the short list of companies, star companies. And do a quick, good, quick Google. A lot of data is available on the net. Spend a few hours understanding the product, competitors, market, best selling brands their strategies, notice their ads if you watch, watch television, or on YouTube. Nothing, you don't, you don't worry. No rural background, nothing. Hindi medium. They look at your gutsiness. I will talk about few stories a little later. It is about passion they look for. It is about drive they look for. Okay? Are you all with me? Okay. What what will happen if you do this exercise in the next two days? What is going to happen to you? Tell me. Illumination, okay.
introspection, strength. You're going to get a great clarity on your capabilities, your love, your passion, and where this passion can be deployed, which industry, knowledge about industry. Okay? Then only SOP will start. Do not unduly rush into writing SOP. Kindly get this clarity first. Spend when okay? Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Very, very important. When you when you write and when you enter the interview, they should be startled at the amount of information you know, what insights you know. They may even tell you that you don't need an MBA. Then you tell them that I have come to sharpen my saw. I have I have already have the chaku. I have to just sharpen it here. So next two years I'm going to sharpen. I am going to take few more people with chakus and we are going to do whatever you want to do. Okay? So there is a there is some direction, the purpose comes, there will be clarity that exists. Then we address the issues. Because a lot of your future one can see from your past too. Yeah? I for one, it is my per my personal journey has always been this. First you, you share where you want to head. When you share where you want to head and what you are aware of, then you will tell, you will share that I want to go in that direction. And I have all these things. What all these things that I have? The background I come from. Yeah. Whether it is academics, non-academics, extracurricular, co-curricular, people, what others will think of me and what experience have I have gained from my work experience, but all I have, and so on and so forth. So first you talk about where you want to head. Then you talk about what all you have. Okay? And you can talk about what you will gain from the institution. And you can also talk about that is also as much important. Okay? It is very, very important to understand as much as we want the best institution. The institutions want best for the people to come in. And who will make a huge difference to the institution? The institution is not made of the infrastructure. The institution is made of people who walk in the corridor. I am I making sense? I am I making sense? Say yes if I am making sense. So we all have to be worthy enough and we have got to quickly start thinking about in how will I be worthy? How will I be worthy for myself and how will I be worthy for my institution? If I am going to convince them how I can be worthy for the institution, they will definitely make the institution worthy for you. They will definitely take you into institution. Okay, so think about it.
Let me share I <clears throat> if you walk into I am Bangalore, you will see in the corridors, in the computer center, in the library, in the um, maths, in the classrooms, you will see paintings and photographs of mine still there. The director of the I am Bangalore tells me, Srini, you left 20 years ago, but I keep seeing you every day because his room has got my painting. The corridor has my painting. So everywhere, my paintings and photographs lie there. Yeah? For the first time ever in the history of I am Bangalore, I had created an exhibition of art inaugurated by the chairperson, chairman of Hindustan Unilever. So it could be any, it could be, it could be a debater, it could be, it could be anything. How are you going to contribute? How are you going to enrich the institution during your two years? And how are you going to enrich the institution by your deeds or your actions or your, your journey after you pass out of the institution? These are very, very, very important. Am I making sense? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about your contribution, it could be it could be anything. Yeah, you've got to sit and think. You've got to sit and think from VV, you've got to sit and think from yourself. Are you all with me? Pranav, I will address your question. Pranav, what is the question? Wait, all the questions will be answered. Right now, I am still setting the, setting the agenda. I am not still setting. How you are going to think and writing the answers? Why should, what should shop be? If at the end of it, yes. Very much. Abiru, very much. It is not it is not an objective question, it is not a quantitative question. It is very subjective. Each one, each one of us has got a purpose. Unfortunately, when I sit in the panel, I also have been part of selection panels. Every Tom Dickanary who comes in says the same thing. Sir, I have I have an engineering background. I know I am technically now sound. I want managerial skills. No, no, we'll talk about it. Second time. We'll talk about it. Yes, it is not easy, but we'll talk about it. Okay? That comes much later. Perhaps you also will find answer to that here. You are the best person to answer why you are doing it second time. Okay? So it is a subjective matter, but I have got to be convincing. I should have thought out very clearly. So once you have your destination, then you will find the path. Okay. So I would personally, I would like to you to write the goal or the purpose first. Why? That's a, what's called statement of purpose. That's why it's called statement of purpose. And if you have, if you've done a lot of studies, then you can give a couple of data. You can give numbers, you can do whatever. See, that's what I want to be. Why that? Because my strengths lie here, and this is what I see my journey to be. Then would come 
my background, how it is of value, what you have learned, you are the significant events that have made what you have, what you are today, and how these are things going to help you in bridging the gap or in the journey. I your past tells what you are today, but it also gives indicator what you will be in the future. Yeah. Similarly, co-curricular activities, extracurricular activities. There you could talk about not only academically you are going to enrich the institution, the learning possibilities of my fellow learners, but also enrich the life of the institution. Kindly share those things. You talk about it, it's your journey. And your, your journey next two years are very important. As important for you to take away from the institution, as to enrich the institution. In the process, if everybody enriches the institution, you are going to be much better off. Yeah. And you could talk about if your family has been outstanding, if members of your family are equally excelling, kindly share. You can also tell them that you come from such a family and excellence is part of your life. Excellence is part of your thought. Excellence is part of your execution. What do others think of you? What do your friends think of you? What do your family, parents and siblings think of you? Kindly share those things also if possible. Okay? So kindly for each of these thought process, each of these, kindly, kindly create separate paragraph for every topic or every issue. Do not write one single paragraph. Kindly express it neatly. Are you all with me? Now, can you, can you all now talk from the base of your envisioning what you see your yourself, can you now connect with your background and accomplishment or significant events and work experience? Does it make sense? Any questions you have, kindly ask. Yes, you could, Gaurav, you could. See, I, I also suggest few more things. Kindly, after doing all the research, once you narrow down to industries, kind of work you want to do, say advertising and particular company and blah, blah, marketing, Hindustan, Unilever. Okay, kindly go to the institution. Kindly go into IMB website. If your passion is marketing, if you see your future in marketing, kindly go and thoroughly research marketing faculty, marketing department, marketing faculty, kind of work they have done, kind of work they have published, what of consulting they are doing. Kindly be thorough. Maybe you could include a couple of thoughts and ideas in your, if you're talking about marketing, this is, what, this is what my goal is, this is what I see, this is what I want to gain from I am Bangalore, and I see certain kind of work being done there, I would be delighted, whether, whether you're writing in soft or whether you are want to talk in the interview. Okay? They should be aghast. They should be perplexed and they should be startled and they should be exhilarated at your thoroughness of work. 
and how deeply you know about the industry where you want to go about the industry and about the institution where you want to go <coughs> maybe you got to be more compelling this is all very generic everybody who want to be decision maker everybody want to be a strategist everybody wants to be a consultant be more specific okay you have got to yes you can't be generic you should not be generic kindly to see you are understand when if you are ahead of the panelists in your chosen industry because the panelists could be anybody there could be one aluminous one with alumni and two panelists they are from any background could be hr marketing finance operation blah 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 okay yeah you you think a little bit further for example when i when i i spoke about information super highway how it is going to make a difference how it will impact people from education from movie watching so so many things you know how this application of information super highway that 22 years ago i spoke about then the faculty the, the, the faculty did not know the panelists did not know they started asking because you are making the interview exciting i am making sense if you know your interests then you more or less more or less you will go around your specialization at least you know that yeah this place or that place or between these two i will take some partly finance and partly marketing yeah you have dual specialization you can be you can be a generalist i was a generalist you were always thought about being an entrepreneur at some point of time so i wanted to get equal insights into every area okay so if if you look ahead if you are ahead of the panelists then you are making it exciting if you are not ahead of the panelists then they are going to tighten screws because they know what you don't know so the more you read that's why you got to be don't be generic take few areas and kindly go deeper and people should say ha yeah, ye yeah, yeah, exciting hai kuch kar dega ye he is going to do something i know what he is going to do i don't know but he is going to do something am i making sense am i making sense quickly 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 har itna time nahi hai so that's exciting life is very exciting kindly make it exciting kindly make it interesting if life is not interesting to you if future is not interesting to you it cannot be interesting to anybody else and you have to make it interesting and you have to work little bit in next couple of days to make it interesting for yourself first then present it to them in such a way it will be interesting for them okay imagine imagine the plight of the interview panel just understand the plight of the interview panel three people sitting there every city in cities like delhi and bombay and bangalore and chennai there are huge numbers every day they are going to interview very 30 40 guys and the panel is in a particular city for maybe 6 7 days and across the country they are going to interview 5000 6000 people the panels are going to be that many only six seven panels from every institution or eight ten panels institution is going to travel around the country it means every panel is going to interview 400 people across the country so imagine their plight they will hold their heads one more guy has come who is going to tell me 
i know i am an engineer i am technically qualified now i want to gain the skills and tools of a manager that's what is going to listen <laughs> can, can you really understand what i am trying to tell you so you have to be exciting you have to make make that guys those 20 minutes of that interview panel exciting if you make a 20 minutes of that panel exciting if you if you make your soft 600 words exciting he will you will make yeah you will make the interview exciting i am pass out sir have become sabji wala auto wala but they have become different sabji wala and they have become different auto wala yeah that he has created he has become in in matter of four years the sabji wala has become advisor to chief minister on on entire agriculture industry the guy auto rickshaw driver has changed the whole public transportation in gujarat what is that what is iran iran the auto rickshaw service so even from mundane how do you make it exciting that is very important are you all with me are you understanding the gravity of what i am talking can i make it interesting think through it is time to think through yeah then you interview these things your background where you come from humble beginnings how your family perhaps wants to excel there there is an environment of excellence at home and that environment of excellence has rubbed on to you how your your excellence and extracurricular co curricular activities always goaded you to be there at the forefront and how you see these extracurricular activities of keenness see it is about it is not about just extracurricular activities it shows your keenness your interest to be excited to be involved to be a learner at any given place and how you are looking forward to it any questions any questions kindly throw at me i hope i have addressed quite a few questions without addressing them directly question number 1 question number 2 but i hope i have door i have opened the doors that you can travel through do do you see a lot of bulbs glowing do you see a lot of bulbs glowing do you see ideas emerging do you see pointers for you to work upon kindly say first you first you connect where you want to go first you connect where you want to go that that connect you need to establish then you establish your background then you then you establish family and education extracurricular activities then you establish what you want to gain from the business school what do you look forward to you do a little bit of research on then your area of your industry you know your your area of interest you know you go into i am bangalore website call out those things which are happening exciting things relate to them and say how these things are going to make your life exciting ahead how it is going to value add to you and how we are going to value add to the institution this is what shastra let me tell you <laughs> consulting everybody becomes a consultant everybody can become a consultant okay 
consultant where which industry how when why where there is something called y w than 1h are you all aware of y w than 1h sushma what is your question y w than 1h so you got to ask all those answers for your for every question that you have in mind yeah what where when why who and how okay very simple anything you pick up any thought you pick up kindly take a rough sheet and ask yourself these five questions what what is it where is it when why why should i do why should not i do how am i about to do okay ask these questions the greater clarity will emerge you may not know exact plan of next 10 years but yes the direction you should know you should know what excites you you should know there are there are certain things there are certain things when you say specific name what is that you are going to talk about prakriti we are talking about industry yes you can talk about you can talk about but be short and crisp then obviously you need to understand one thing whatever you going to write here in the stop make sure you you cover up everything you you have to go much deeper in each of these areas simply because they are going to ask questions and you should make their 20 minutes exciting if you make their 20 minutes exciting they are going to make your next 60 years exciting hope i have given you the message your next 60 years excitement of your next 60 years depends on what you do in the next on those 20 minutes and what you do in those 20 minutes is going to depend on what you are going to write in the 600 words okay kindly write first kindly write exhaustively don't worry about 600 words first you take each issue and write write exhaustively and see how how long and how big you write then you slowly prune and bring down to 600 words i'm making sense i'm making sense keep 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 the essence and keep reducing it keep the essence keep reducing it first you write exhausted kuch nahi chhodna hai then pick up pick up the priority wise most important thing when when they have created a boundary of 600 it is better to limit within 600 okay but but leave give enough give enough pointers understand give enough pointers for them to ask questions so that you keep you make the 20 minutes or half an hour exciting when you get out of the interview room you should feel wow isko pakdo catch hold of him otherwise another i am is going to catch him that should be the excitement and indeed happens when the candidate gets out we panelists discuss and tell them yaar isko nahi chhodna hai i should not leave this guy isko at any cost we should we should bring this guy to our school okay aapki mara mari you fight outside that i i want to go there i want to, the panelists fight inside i have to get this fellow i have to get this fellow okay kindly leave that impression that's that's what is exciting so you have to make the 20 minutes exciting
Are you all with me? How are you feeling now? How are you feeling? Okay. Less cloudy. Arsha, cloud se utro. <laughs> yeah, awesome, confident. Keep walking. I can tell you. I have just peeled. I have just helped you to peel the first layer of the onion. There are so many layers within you. <coughs> you have to you have to first sit, close the doors, shut, shut the doors, shut everything, start writing. What is that you love? Where do you see yourself? Which industry? What sort of profile you see for yourself? Companies in, this, in that industry? What are they looking for? With your profile, guys, what sort of exciting work they are doing? Because they all figure in the media, marketing strategies, and this and that and that and that. Okay? Go through that and, and you feel excited about it. And ask yourself what is that you should do from now to, to the interview, beyond interview. Ask yourself, go to IMB website, study the entire IMB website in your area of interest, see what the what sort of work is happening, okay? And who are doing what sort of work. Then come back and ask what is that you should do from now on. And ask yourself what is that in the past that you are gaining that has made what you are and that can be of invaluable part of part of your journey ahead. Okay. Yeah, anything more you want to ask? As I rightly said, Be exhaustive. Manasa, if you write, if you love more than one thing, you could you could write more than one thing. Okay. In my thing, technology was there. In my thing, creative creative area was also there. Okay. And I was I I demonstrated more than amply there in, at the campus. Abhirup and others who say that I don't have strong extracurricular. Strong does not mean you need to have certificates. He is not going to ask certificates. Okay? Yes. He will definitely will ask or they will definitely ask you questions on those passions. Okay, so thoroughly read, kindly mention, if you do not have co-curricular, extracurricular, interest or passion, you are not a person I would like to have in my institute. Another institute would like to have this person. And it is not so that a human being is devoid of any interest. Okay. So if you love sketching, if you love painting, read a little bit more about painters and you know, painters that India have produced, the works that India has produced, then pick up some two, three names that people may know of, M.F. Hussain and his challenges, why he had to leave the country. So you know what all things, what all sort of questions he may ask. Yeah, the styles of sketching, styles of painting. So pick up few things. If you love dance, then you understand what are various types of dance forms in India. 
which dance forms come from where who are the exponents of the dance form if you dance a particular form you know a little bit more about it okay if you want to become an entrepreneur if you want to business man okay in which area which industry so little bit background you should be aware of they will not ask you business plan but they will definitely ask you are you observant enough yeah do you observe what is happening in the marketplace do you observe marketing strategies do you observe observe communication strategies communication channels do you observe the advertisements hope sorry and i have uh, i have answered your question okay whatever you think of kindly go ahead you have to be five steps ahead of the guy the panel the more information you have the greater is the convincing power that you have okay so kindly write exhaustive stuff for each one then keep pruning okay cut kariye you write another you create the next plan next 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 then come to 600 words finally you kindly last all this finally you should have 600 words rough in a rough sheet not in the original then you take a xerox copy of the original and write in that xerox copy first once you write everything in the xerox copy the way you are going to present you have everything written in the xerox copy then look at the xerox copy and copy it in the original okay am i making sense am i making sense I'm making sense. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I am trained in music and I am trained in dance. <laughs> that's the passion. Life is all about this. That's what. That's what they are going to look for. either way either you can type it or you can write in hand too okay any questions on soft writing by hand is not going to take away any point okay if you can write legibly beautifully then perhaps i would prefer a written because that would show me a lot about me as a character if you want to type it you should type it no issues once you have yes 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 as long as saurav gaurav as long as you are cohesive one paragraph talks about one point or one issue kindly write as many paragraphs as you want no issue okay once you create a soft soft is not institution specific soft is for my people you have to know which institution you are going to write soft for kindly use that soft but only thing that would vary is the institution specific passage that you write will vary 
for that paragraph incident specific paragraph that you want to write do a little bit of more research on that particular institution the kind of work they are doing the kind of consulting work or project they are doing kindly incorporate that masala with your masala and write it. yeah hope sort of i address your question any more questions hope there is a clarity on soft Can I go ahead? If I can go ahead, say yes. Hello. Kindly say yes if I can go ahead. Am I audible? Okay. In the process of writing SOAP, more or less, <coughs> I have addressed quite a few issues on the interview. Yeah. Yes, as you can write whatever has, has changed you, whatever has given impetus to you, whatever has. He is going to make a difference in your life. You can write. Be short, crisp, detailed enough, yet crisp enough to convey him or the panelists so that they can ask you questions and you can make it exciting. Okay. This whole process of what we 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 went about in discussing soft will be invaluable in VAT two. So the selection process has two steps: the writing ability test abiru flat career ye sab bakwas hai, no flat career. Okay. Kindly show me what is exciting career that you show me. Don't show me the flat career, the door bang. So I will definitely going to ask something like trying to. You will ask what is that exciting thing? Flat ko piche chodo. What is that exciting thing? That's what is going to ask. So let's forget about flat career. Let's talk about the exciting stuff that you want to do. So written ability test or writing ability test and personal interview. These are the two two rounds that you are going to encounter. So if I look back at last year, there are 30 minutes for writing ability test, 10 minutes to think about, and 20 minutes to write. The more you read, the more you have to think of, more you have information to think about. And kindly use rough sheet or rough paper or scribble paper to kindly structure. Okay, kindly structure yourself before you express on paper. Yeah, kindly make a rough point by point, sub points. Kindly write in the rough sheet before you you write it in in the real sheet, okay? Or if you don't have space, kindly scribble it in a corner. Or you write you on the right side you you uh, fold a little bit and write your rough rough passage for you to structure and use that structure to write in detail, okay? That will actually show them, yeah, in limited constraints, limited resources, this guy. Really articulates well, thinks out well. Okay, the topics are very generic. 
if you are a regular reader of newspapers, regular, if you if you keep your senses open, antennas open, yeah, the topics are here that appeared last year. The N today gets so much so easily that is detrimental to the future. Social networks are detrimental to society, addictive and detrimental. Just look at it. They have made your life very easy. If you are reading the editorial pages, Rangin pages, pages Chordo, leave all colorful pages out, read editorial pages and financial pages, that's it. You will have enough qualitative stuff to write, enough quantitative numbers to embellish your qualitative work. Does it make sense? Yes, yes. Pick up the Hindu or maybe Indian Express. Pick up. I, I see these two as the number one and number two newspaper in this country. Few advertisements, lot of substance. The Hindu and the Indian Express. Go through their past, look at, read editorials, read the financial pages, okay? Create, create a file. Classify the file by the topics. <coughs> Indian economy, Indian industry, okay? Business leaders, Indian politics, social reforms. Okay, you don't have to be biased. You can always explore the pros and cons of an issue. You need not take a stance, okay? Be more open, explore all dimensions. That is, that gives more insight about you. Okay, take any topic. Topic, explore the pros and cons. Don't tell me, no, 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 social networks are addictive. No, no, they are not addictive. No, they are not detrimental. Present the both sides, evaluate, and see what is the context today and what could be the context in the future. How it has impacted in the last five, ten years. How can it can impact? What is the direction it will take and how it will can impact in the future. Okay. What are the implications to society, to business, to individuals, to relationship? Speak, just speak up and see all dimensions. Socio, cultural, political, economical, financial, spiritual. Think about all dimensions. <coughs> Yeah, the greater dimensions you explore, the greater the insights you are giving to them about you and what you are. Am I making sense? Batao, batao, kya meri? Yeah. Okay, pros and cons, and look at these dimensions I've already, I've just shared with you. Socio, cultural, political, economical, financial, spiritual, whatever is applicable in each of these shows. When you explore those dimensions, they understand, oh, this guy really thinks through. Okay?
That's what I said, do not take any sides. Look at all perspectives. Okay? And clearly create a rough column on the right side and create those paragraphs and spend some time. Okay? The interview would <clears throat> Yeah, you could talk about it, which are ways better. Which are, so you you may say that yes, this is very positive, but still we have got to make sure we take care of these couple of issues. So kindly kindly conclude with whatever with caveats or whatever, okay? Condition. <laughs> The questions that will be asked will be around the soft and will be around your writing ability test, what you mentioned, what you expressed. If the kind of homework we have discussed in the last two hours, we do, I am sure each one of us would do a great job. We don't have to really worry about it. The interview will be smooth. Okay? Do not get tense. Just be relaxed. Okay? If you made a mistake, have the guts to say, I'm sorry I made a mistake. Correct yourself. Do not tell lies. Be truthful. Yeah? Anybody can spot. Hope you're all with me. Okay. Usually there are three panelists. One is alumnus to our professor. Your SOP and the CV or the... Uh, okay. Questions cannot be from anywhere. They have to be from here. Okay? The thorough work you do now will, will be invaluable there. Any questions? Anything you want to ask? Carry the CV. Carry the CV if you want. Okay? But they will not ask you to give the CV. They will ask questions from your top only. Okay? Those were... All these things are available for you. Power PDP is available. For all those who are, who are regular students of CL, they are available. Okay, those who, are, who have been the um, only uh, the test takers. You could go go for about PDP. They have got lot of lot of things with immense value. You could watch them as many times as you want. Okay. Yeah, now let me talk about references, three references.
if you are able to uh, get these three references from three varieties of people, wide varieties of people, I think it will be invaluable. Maybe a professor, maybe somebody workx or some other activity that you have done. For example, you have been active socially or social activities or sports or cultural or so let it be as as varied as it can be. Let these people give their perspectives. Okay. Give the reference on a unidirectional from so same workplace, you know, all three are professors, more or less it will be very, very similar. Kindly make it exciting. Kindly get as three three varied kind of people to look at you from different perspectives. I think that will be invalid. Hope I address your question. Okay. So this power PDP is available. Those who are who have taken only the mock test kindly enroll. Don't worry about weightage, but understand it could be a, it could be invaluable. Okay. Bits and pieces would, would add later to a huge chunk. So let's not give any anything less weightage. In our mind, say whatever whatever work I do, really I will do it in, in such a way that those guys will be will be startled at the kind of work I do. Jadu pocha bhi lagana hai to is kadar lagao ki dunya kahe yar aaj kaun laga gaya jadu pocha. No, it will not be. It will not be harsh. It will not be. But it is better always. It's strengths and weaknesses. And manager kindly talk to them a little bit more before you give him, sir. Little bit beyond. Go a little bit beyond. Kindly little bit detail. Okay. Doesn't matter if it has happened. It has happened. You cannot change it. As long as he is given positive stuff, it is good. Arch, don't worry. Okay. Are you all with me? Kindly enroll if you are not already a CL student and you wish to kindly enroll in Power PDP and you will see the difference. Amazing stuff lying there. Okay. Any more questions that I have not addressed? I have <coughs> there was one gentleman who said, he is already an MBA and he wants to further MBA. Okay, so you need to ask yourself why. Don't denigrate the past MBA, but looking at the future, how is you are going to connect? What you want? What more you want to gain? Kindly write it. Definitely, they are going to ask why two MBAs. A lot of people who are going to pass out of IM, IMs, and they'll go and do another MBA at the London School of Economics, Harvard. So I can tell you at least a half a dozen of my batchmates did one more MBA in LSC or Harvard or Stanford. So that's it. So you, you're always looking for a much better place to do so that your dreams or your your goals can be achieved. Okay. As long as you can connect, it is fine. Hope I addressed your question. You don't you should not feel sorry about it. Ankit, you are a manager, so you, you, you get hold of somebody if you are working, get hold of somebody who is superior to him or with whom you worked or who knows in the past, ask somebody to write. Okay. If it has been pretty long, you, uh, your beta has been long ago, then it is fine. If you are accessible to a professor, kindly talk to him, go and meet him. Or any other area of work that you you work with somebody, ask them to write. 
तो ये वेग आंसर मत देना आई मे डू अनदर एम बी ए ओके वॉट एम बी आई वॉन्ट टू डू कैंड डू लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च बिफोर यू राइट आई मे डू अनदर एम बी ए आईडीज कैन बी फ्रॉम एनी वेर ओके You need not mention Manasa that you want to be marketing, but if you are able to, if you are able to see through in the future and you are really thoroughly work, or you feel that you have confidence that you will work a little bit more, so you can address those questions and write. But at least before you get into the interview, you should be very clear what are the areas that you are looking for. Okay. पहले तो एक अभिरूप पहले तो एक एमबीए कर लो उसके बाद दूसरा वाले एमबीए की बात करते हैं आस्किंग फॉर रेफरेंस श्री हरी अगली दे आस्किंग फॉर रेफरेंस है ना Better to have references. Kindly be a couple of steps ahead of them. And who are references? Let them let them be exciting enough to answer. Okay. Maybe if you have, if you have any alternative careers, you thought of kindly write no harm, and you need not have only one. You can you can go on, you can do parallelly multiple things. Okay, so think through, and each of them can be as rewarding. There are many people who are working in the corporate as well as. in the government of sectors who are amazing right they have, they they have some of the top publication top uh, books in the country so you could always write that you know you are an mba you are a marketing head at the same time you have your publications so there is no harm and you see if you have strengths you see this okay shuti <clears throat> as many references as possible that is better don't worry about it anybody around you who has excelled in something and who knows about you of your work and your passion kindly ask them to write i said preferably one from academic one from work experience and one from other area this that could be a killer proposition don't by doing less homework don't project yourself as a lazy fellow okay wo teen mang raha hai to panch se pakda dena usko hai panch ka le lo yahan se teen jo chahiye tere ko panch se mat lo okay don't do less homework do more homework because every action of yours every work of yours is going to show how diligent and how hard working are you do not ask me this silly question okay any more questions there are so many stories that i have written on i am guys non i am guys post mba kindly go and check my website <laughs> yes you can give check thing big start small kindly go 
and look for thing big start small or search for thing big start small and check there are so many stories about b school graduates they are there okay on my website freedia.org is a website and go and check if you have any queries further and you want to ask me freedia.careerlaunch.com okay keep following deepika pandya dp keep writing there and i keep writing on freedia.org so i managed to address all questions if you have any questions kindly ask me else i take leave of you wishing you the very best go and enjoy the journey the destination is important but the journey is more important yeah be excited about the journey you will definitely reach the destination thank you very much all the best love you take care of with the zain khudafis fir milenge tinim baglam malikaluda zain zibir dekh bo kal ke sokale dekh bo dam ke chon bye bye take care freedia at careerlaunch.com if you have any query and freedia.org for more exciting stuff that can excite you with more stories of people youngsters who are doing wonderful things okay